just some fuel. Oh wait, I wore this shirt in my last video. Oh yes, I am talking about this middle kid that drops tomorrow. Alrighty, we are back. Are you kidding me? Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, I'm Chris Clemens. And if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. <laughs> Guys, we are joined by my mom today. No, mom, that was your cue. Oh my god. Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my, Buy my hat. Buy it all. Get your fing ass up and join my Patreon. Hey! So, no. today no, we're no, discussing, no. No, this is my channel. No, no more margarita for you, I'm pouring it down the no, drain. No, don't, I don't want to make fun about that. So today, so the Oscars just happened, which means you guys are going to get fed with a nice little outfit fashion review slash roast video. However, today I enlisted the help of my mom and a mango margarita. My mom has beat me to the chase of one whole mango margarita already. That's untrue. That's not untrue, baby. I can walk a straight line, so. Do it. Yeah, Mom, I can also walk on a five-inch plank of floorboard. But a twist. Oh, you're not on the board. I'm on the board, and I could do a calculus problem now. <laughs> okay. So, yes, the Oscars, the Academy Awards. What are you doing? Oh, I'm doing this to get down to your height. Then I'm gonna go over here. Okay. Okay, so I'm still... Oh, I'm... <laughs> you're... <laughs> so, yeah, I thought we'd do a new kind of red carpet fashion review, and uh, not only... In... <laughs> Okay, people, I don't know what to do with this guy. He is just not very focused today. It's a shame. So today I thought we would do an outfit roast that I didn't think we've done before, which includes my mom and a margarita. So... What's not to love? <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies! <laughs> That one was me. Before we get into the video, however, there is no sponsor, so I'm gonna shout out myself. Join my Patreon because I am posting a ton of content on there. And then also Middle Kid relaunches tomorrow! So be sure to head on over to middlekid.supply and follow Middle Kid on Instagram. Sign up your email so you don't miss the launch, honey! Let's review some Oscars fashion. So I compiled a bunch of people's looks. We are gonna go through them. They are from not only the Oscars red carpet, but also the infamous Vanity Fair after party. What's the chance I'll know any of these people? Mom, you have a People magazine subscription. <laughs> not anymore. R.I.P. to the people. This has nothing to do with the celebrities in it. We are just strictly focusing on the look. Oh, she's Anna, right? Yeah. In Ju something about Anna. So first up we have Julia Garner at the Vanity Fair after party. I love this. She has a toilet seat around her neck. <laughs> She does. If it didn't have that much dimension, but it is a full toilet seat. I think she looks so cool. Oh my god, if I were to wear a dress, I would absolutely put this in the contender. And it let me just say, I'm not a couture person, so my comments might be like every woman's, right? Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> don't like the claw thing, but I've never been into those fingernails. Um, oh. <laughs> but the toilet seat. Yep. Okay, next. Next up, we have Tracy Ellis Ross. I think this is so awesome. There is something about it that feels off to me. She's in a little barbershop cape thing going on. Maybe she's getting a quick haircut. Uh, so how is the hat on her head? It's I don't a, know. It. Honestly, it reminds me of Sally Field and the Flying Nun when I was a kid. Chris thought it'd be a great idea for me to be in this video. I know he's already going, oh my God. <laughs> no, I was thinking that You're during all... the intro. Yep, it's beautiful. Black and white is timeless. The gloves, I'm trying to make it sound like I know what I'm talking about. Next oh, up we have Meg the Stallion. Love that, love it. This looks Epic. I would agree with that. I love her hair like this. I love the hair. That makes the outfit to me. I would be surprised if there's one I like more than this. That's a really spectacular outfit. Are you a Meg Thee Stallion fan? I mean, I don't have her tattooed on me anywhere, but I, I don't either. I, I'm more a fan than not a fan. Yeah. Ah. Next up, we have Quinta Bronson. Oh, I love her, I and love that her. outfit is her. Love it's her. friendly and happy. Oh, I love that. You would wear this. Sadly, I'm <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I just mean you're very into flowers and color. Uh, the only thing I absolutely hate. Okay. Little black sliver I knew that, was that it. pops I knew it. out. I, it looks like her bra is showing, and maybe it I, is, I which not that. good for so you, girl. Here, here's what no. I think it is. I'm happy this is a good girl outfit, but I'm a little bit naughty. That's how I see it. It's a little playful. <laughs> I can be removed from this gig anytime. You're providing the entertainment. I mean, I'm getting oh my, into this. I you, think next week it's... 
The Angela Clementine. That's just fine, me. as long as I get like a 25% cut. I'll come which, back, oh. I really do need you. Okay. I'm just so happy for everything that's happening to her. She started out as a literal meme. Wow. Next up, we have Naomi Campbell. Ay, ay, ay. I'm not gonna lie, at first, when I was pulling these pictures, I loved this. And now that I'm looking at it, looks like she's covered in keys from a keyboard. So doesn't it look like she's happy to wear it? Maybe it's just the photo. It doesn't seem current. Like that whole look kind of gives like the clamshell vibe of like the I was 60s. thinking, yeah, I was definitely getting like a beach house coffee table bowl filled with just shell. If you're gonna wear something like that, those few at the yes! bottom that are up, it's like an advent calendar that the doors <laughs> don't get pushed down. If you're gonna wear that thing, you gotta have them all down or all up. So yeah, the most famous supermodel in the world, take note. Yeah, in my Coles Ensemble. Angie and Chris, <laughs> bonk! Oh my god, next up we have Hailey, Hailey. Bieber. She, this is like boring to me. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I, I regret my glasses. Is that part of the dress or are you seeing behind her? Yeah, I think the blue is like the... Background. I think her like waist is literally that okay. skinny. Okay, she looks imagine. like Gumby or something. She's all messed her, she's out of line. My scoliosis could never. <laughs> she looks like a pissed off bridesmaid. The, not the color, the dress is like kind of bridesmaid vibe. No, I'm not getting a single ounce of bridesmaid. Okay, me neither. However, I have only been to like three weddings. I feel like... I'm executing everyone like me. You are, and you have okay. no shame in it. I'm but so jealous. Two, I like two people. That makes me feel a little better. <laughs> Next up, we have Jennifer Coolidge. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh I God. love Jennifer Coolidge, I and honestly, like, the thing Hi, is, Ooh. she- <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Jenny. Like, she does pull this off in this whole, like, Italian mob wife kind of vibe. It, it fits it. her, Good but way. it doesn't suit her. And the fact that it's Dolce & Gabbana. Can we stop wearing Dolce & Gabbana? It's all f***ing ugly. She is working the outfit, but it's like, ugly. It's not flattering. It's heinous. I did not even recognize her under that mound of hair. And I, I am a fan of her. See, Jennifer, like she honey, can be out I'm there. I'm sorry. Yeah. Who did this to you? Dolce & Gabbana. We should put him down. Next up, we have Kendall Jenner. This honestly was one of my favorite looks of the I night. I would agree with that. She's rocking it. She's owning it. Love it. I wish there weren't eyes on her boobs. I hate that, but but it does work with it. And honestly, she doesn't have a ton of boobage, so probably needs all the, yeah. yeah. Okay. She's yep. beaming. She's glowing. Yep. It's more than I can say about myself right now. <gasps> oh my god, I loved this look. Hunter Schaefer, I love this. I think this is so f***ing sick. I'm gonna abstain from speaking on this. Um, Why? Because it makes me feel old. <laughs> this is sort of inappropriate. I inappropriate, please. I, I we all got nipples, b Beautiful woman, honestly. Love the skirt part. Not much else to comment on. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just think I've never seen anything like this. Me neither. And it's pulled off so well, like... It was pulled off. There's nothing <laughs> left. <laughs> I don't know this gal either, so honey, I'm Should sure you're a lovely shot? nighty. I'm <laughs> I'm sure you're a lovely nighty. As I ask, don't, should we don't. take a shot? No, no, no. She does look amazing. I mean, I'm we're just gonna agree to disagree. Next up, we have Miss Gigi Hadid, and I like this. I like that as well. I don't like her hair as much. It looks just kind of like it's school picture day or something. I will say, I wish the dress had the same kind of point up horns that the shoulder things have. I was just gonna say, I wish the horns were gone. Oh. Yeah, anything right. that messes around there it just it gives me bridesmaid vibes. This doesn't give me bridesmaid vibes. Oh, right, because this gives it's me like, like a sexy pal. vixen. If that was a bridesmaid, the bride would be left at the altar. <laughs> Next up, we have Olivia Wilde. And wow, Olivia, this is wild. Put your other sleeve on, honey. Yeah, that gets a bonk for me. The Ghost of Christmas Past. That's like the nightgown that guy wore in the movie, like the, the ghost. It's just that we've it's already given bra. her more time than she deserves, probably. Do you think? <laughs> Ooh. Next up, we have Cardi B, and I am telling you, Cardi B delivers. She delivers. Call her UPS, call her FedEx. That bitch delivers. She looks fantastic. The last outfit review I did, she was in this blue thing that looked gorgeous. Cardi B looks really spectacular. I hate that cloth thing, but that... Does the fingernails. Cardi B, you're getting a Cardi A+. Plus. I may have already made that joke. Next up, it. we have Malala, and I think she looks beautiful. I do too. It's Doing keeping nothing. with who she is. Yeah, it's course. nothing special, but it doesn't need to be. Love this. Love it. Next up, we have Ryan Seacrest. Why does this look like Madame Tussauds brought Ryan Seacrest's yeah, wax figure? Look at but the guy's wearing a tux. Is there it's much so variation boring. you can it's do? It's so boring. Do something better, Ryan. I'm sorry. You okay. know, every f***ing designer out there, and you come up in something that I'm wearing to my brother's wedding. Boring. Next up, we have Vanessa Hudgens, and she looks phenomenal. It's boring. But phenomenal. She looks phenomenal, but the photo's kind of like. Oh, are you about to spin? <laughs> What's that? What's that song? Um, Janet Jackson. What's that song? Who said? Like, we can, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be my 
<laughs> oh my god, I literally am sweating and I can't breathe. I Holy certainly hope the last minute's been cut out. No, it's anyway. absolutely not. Next up we have Jamie Lee Curtis and Santa Claus. I think that's her husband. No, I... <laughs> I don't think it's her babysitter, mom, so. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis, you are all of us. I don't think this is anything special. I will say I hate the corset boning going through her midsection. It just doesn't hmm. really make sense Yeah, I would like to, to dress me. it better without that. Next up, we have Alton Mason. This, Ryan Seacrest. I'm not saying do this, because you would make that very awkward and uncomfortable for everybody. But, like, this is so interesting. He's wearing a suit, he looks classy, but it's interesting. I get a sense of who he is. I don't know who he is. He is but like he's... one of the most phenomenal male models. He's thing. definitely got a vibe, but he doesn't look silly. I mean, no, that's why it doesn't look costumey. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, it's not like he's like, oh, I'm showing up to a Studio 54 party. Next up, oh dear God, we have Winnie Harlow, and uh, the color's a big problem. The for color's me. a huge problem. It looks not like a wet the Oscars. Suit with the zipper. The zipper. Is that a zipper. What is yeah, that, that doing there? The... Just because it hasn't been seen before, there's probably a reason for that. No one's put a zipper one fourth of the way that's... through the. That's, front of an outfit. That's, that's unfortunate. insane yeah. to me. And then the f***ing black flower. What? Oh, that's a flower? I know this bitch had a rack of clothes and options. And she picked this? They might have been drinking mango margaritas that day too. Next up we have Mindy Kaling and she is, uh, yeah, she's wearing a white dress, but she is here with Ozempic. I don't hate Mindy. the look, but I, I don't, don't love it. it. She looks pretty, but, but it here just doesn't she... look like Mindy. Yeah, that's I a great point. That's I don't, a great point. I don't yeah. know. I'm pretty sure this is Elizabeth Banks, regardless of who it is. They should have left maybe two of the five bedding sheet sets that she yeah, has on at home. I don't think it's an ugly dress and I don't think it would be a bad look. Are you on but crack? Is the white part of the dress or yeah. that? Oh! Do you think it's a second person? I thought she was sitting on a white thing. Oh, the I thought she was sitting on a person's shoulders the with a trench coat. Yeah, it's like, did she get dismembered and put back together <laughs> before the show? I, I, I literally can't. And that's her hip out like that? And what's all the stuff on the bow side? And is that know. a leg? I don't think it's just a bad photo. I think it's... No, I think it's a bad, bad dress. Photo. And the hair it's looks bad. bad Elizabeth, dress. I love you. What the f*** is this? Yeah. Next up, we have Florence Pugh and... Pew. <laughs> I, like, want to like it so because, I. like, I think it's interesting. I like her hair and makeup and necklace. And, and she then tried the... hard and bought a lot of fabric, but yeah. <laughs> I almost wish it was closed to where the black skirt 100%. was, and then it opened. I totally agree. She was in Don't Worry Darling, but I'm worried a little. Next up we have Cara Delevingne, and this is Love maybe it. the best she's ever looked. Love it. Literally, the fact that months Love ago it. she was having like a spiral she, on drugs outside of an airport. She is spectacular This is looking. the best I think she's ever looked. Drop dead gorgeous. I really have nothing to say about no, this. Same. Even the f***ing giant loofah on her shoulder, yeah, that, I'm like, that would be okay, the work. I've never agreed with you as much as I have today. Shout out to mangoes everywhere. Next up we have Lenny Kravitz, another example of yes, love this. See, I just think there's a way to look upscale that isn't wearing a f best man's outfit. I don't know. I think he is so fucking cool and can do literally no wrong. Next up, we have Elizabeth Olsen, who I thought, even up until now, that this was Caitlyn Riley. This is pretty and, like, elegant, but it's not doing a lot for me. Standard, I would yeah, say. Yeah. Like, I mean, beautiful. Beautiful. Standard. Yeah, this, yeah. Like, this is the equivalent of a man wearing a black and white tux to the Oscars. Um, who is she? She's like the, the twins? Olsen sister. The twin? Yeah, okay. she's an actress. You gotta get your People magazine back, girl. Uh, clearly. <laughs> All right, let's do a big gulp. I just One, reloaded. Two. I had my whole cup gone. I don't need a big gulp. Next up, we have Salma Hayek. And I'm conflicted by this because on one hand, I love the color and I love the way the light hits it. And then on the Parts that I don't like, um, literally all of the rest. I don't like the hula skirt vibe. It just looks like a really tacky prom dress. This, like, tie around the neck and the confetti skirt makes it look so cheap, cheap to me. I agree, I, yep. Next up, we have Janelle Monet, and I really love Janelle Monet. I don't understand why people pair orange and black together if they're not trying to evoke a Halloween theme. That is like putting red and green together. I like it down to her waist. I love I the spot. I was just the about shoulder. to say that. Yeah. If the skirt was black, I think that this would be phenomenal. Okay. Just the color doesn't make the sense. The color is the worst, yeah. If it were black, it would be fine. Here we have Anna Diarmas. Anna, this was a demiss. A mega miss. Yes. Color's bad with her skin. This looks, the color's awful with her skin. Yeah, the mermaid vibe It just thing. looks so cheaply made. Yeah. It looks like a really sad bathroom shower curtain. Yeah, it's bad. And, and the her hair? hair? Yeah. The hair! She's going to a sixth grade dance. That's I'm exactly so what I was gonna confused. say. And it almost looks like she has an Apple Watch on. <laughs> 
She's got to track her steps. Next up, we have Nicole Kidman. She can do no wrong. No, she can a little with that hair. It looks like she has slept in an AMC theater way too long. The <laughs> hair it goes looks... with her look. It's kind of real. Yes, I don't mind that color of the hair, but it looks dead. No, it I looks mean, dry, way... and it looks like hay. The dress I don't even think is that bad, and I don't normally love giant flower sh like that. I don't know, this just looks like Avril Lavigne in like 2008 trying to like show up to the Oscars. I'm so confused. <laughs> look a little like Avril. Next up we have Kate Blanchett, or to some of us Blanchett Kate. Not a big fan of this. This is looking like a secretary from the doctor's office who is showing up to the holiday event. I like the blue material and the way it's draped. I like the black material and the way it's draped. I don't understand how they made it onto the same body at the same time. Yeah, like an office, a blouse you'd wear with a suit, yeah. a business suit. And then and the then dress the on the bottom is gorgeous. Like well, a little. Just next up we have Lady Gaga. She was also sharing the same bottle of Ozempic that Mindy was. She looks oh. like she was a little bit of a fight beforehand. She <laughs> a, little, a little heavy on the black eye stuff. I don't have anything on right now, but I think I'm rocking it compared to that. The dress I don't think is awful. I wish it didn't have these two like antennas coming out of the ant eyes. I would agree. But otherwise, I really don't hate it. I like this like exposed top and it looks like the bottom is like almost falling off. But to create like a whole silhouette, I like it. Like it. I just honestly don't like our hair and makeup. Next up, we have Michelle Young. I think that's beautiful. I think this is stunning. I do have a weird thing with like netting I, I that is too. supposed to look sheer. Like, is too. that supposed to look like it's not there or is it? At first, I didn't pick up on it, but then when I did, I was like, ooh, I wish I could downgrade my comments. A yeah. I mean, I was just looking at the train a little thinking, oh, that's a little brighty, but it, it still doesn't feel no, bright. I agree. It's crazy. It, it's All right, next up, we have Rihanna. And I think I'm going to get some shit for this. I don't love this. Oh good, me neither. I, I think the weaving around the vagina is weird. I don't like the straps around the arms. If the straps weren't there, that would make the whole top look a little bit better. I just don't think this is Rihanna's best and I know that people are gonna shit on me for that, but... I come from the era where you kind of cover up your pregnancy. I'm thrilled that that's not how the world is anymore, so yay. But my first read was, you know, she's got dark hair and the chocolate brown to me feels like a near miss. I feel like this dress was designed around her wanting to to show her belly 100%. and not making the dress actually look good. Listen, I love Rihanna, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to be Rihanna-est. Did that one work? Maybe not. I don't know. Next up, we have Diplo. I... Oh, wow. Like this. It's the after party, so it's like fun. Oh, this is the after party? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't know. <laughs> My like, invitation got lost in the mail, so I'm just winging it. I love like the cowboy detailing and the boots. I'm just gonna try not to make eye contact. Is that the zipper thing right there? What is that? I think that's the zipper to his jacket. <laughs> it it his does look fly like was down. Yeah. It does look like, like his fly was down. Try. Next up, we have Tessa Thompson, and I love this. I do think the roses look a little cheap. But I just like the silhouette this all makes and like the little reveal of like, ooh, I've got roses for ya. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I actually really like this with the exception, of course, of the stick out things on the arm. Oh, I love that. It yeah, just adds like a shape to it. The silhouette is Stunning. staggering. It's yeah, it really is. It's beautiful. But, like, be commenting on anything like, honey, look at you, like white old lady from suburbia. Well, where do you get the gumption to make a comment? Okay, gumption. I get that. This is Emma Chamberlain, and I wish I saw less of the seams. Honestly, I wish that bar going through her stomach was either connected or, or there wasn't there. that weird triangle yeah, because that weird triangle doesn't do a lot. Otherwise, I love. I also have issues with their shoulders being bare. I can't decide much, about the shoulders. But overall, I really like it. The hair with it, I feel like the adds. The hair goes perfect. Yeah, the it. hair, honestly, I think ties it all together. Next up, we have Z-Way and normally I would Z-Way, you need to get on the freeway. <laughs> this is a hot take. What? It's way too many things going on. I normally would hate something like this. There is something about this that I love. Oh. The green velvet with the green, like, emerald jewel. She, like, pulls it off. I think her face and hair Mom. are spectacular. The boxing belt thing going on. <laughs> I won the world welterweight boxing crown weighing in at 110 pounds. I mean, I'm giving you my gut reaction. What the literal hell is going on? Honestly, yeah. I think she could get rid of the shoulder shawl. Yes. And just have gloves. Next up, we have Halle Bailey, and this might be the best I've ever seen Halle Bailey look. This looks like gold is melting off of her. I think this dress is stunning. I think it's like the perfect amount of flow. Keep going. Oh, okay, we're done! My mom has never Crazy. been so happy Jesus. to get out of my kitchen. That is the most I've thought or talked about fashion in my life. Talked about what? 
Fashion. Fashion? <laughs> fashion. That's the most I've ever talked about fashion, fashion in my life. Fashion, we're gonna make a margarita. <laughs> I feel a little bad about ripping um, Rihanna because that really, I mean, in the in the context of did it jive with who she is? It yeah, really did. totally did. Thanks, mom, for joining us. And honestly, and thank you all for enduring me. Uh, oh no, I'm literally afraid that people are gonna be like, Chris, give up your channel to your mom. Love you. Thanks for being here. Peace out, everyone. But don't peace episode. out before you go get some middle kid tomorrow. Middle kid dot supply. And now, as soon as the camera goes off, I'm gonna drive <laughs> him to my house and get the last middle kid launch remnants out of my hall. Ah! She just scalped me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>